Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies. This video regarding Angular 17 overview and it is new features. So basically Google will release the new version of Angular for every six months. So that includes some of the new features, bug fixing and performance improvement, some of the deprecated item. The same way they have released their latest version Angular 17 on November 8. That includes some new features and performance improvement. And this Angular 17 will run with a Node.js version 18.13. So in case if you have the lower version of 18.13, you have to download the new version from this Node.js site. So we have a recommended latest version is 20.9. So just to download this package and you have to install in your machine. And the next thing is TypeScript. So this Angular 17 will run with TypeScript version 5.2. Okay, so next we can see some of the key features. So the first one is Angular Dev, and the second one is new syntax for control flow in templates and automatic migration to build in control flow and deferable view. Build performance with ES build, enhanced support for server side rendering, automatic removal of CSS, opt in support for view transition API. We can see all the topics one by one. First, let me take this Angular Dev. So this is the new site they have introduced for the documentation purpose. Angular.dev, okay. See the look and feel. So the previous one is Angular.io. Okay, this is the previous documentation. So now they have introduced the new one. It's really interesting. Let me go to this documentation. See, all the topics we can see one by one. Components, template, directives, dependence injection, signals. So if I'm choosing this component, so the component related topics, director, styling, life cycle, what are the topics belongs to this uh, components, we can see the complete information. Even when beginner is uh, looking this documentation also, they can learn very quickly, okay? And in this site, uh, they have introduced the tutorial section. So it is just like our W3 schools, okay? So if you are studying something, we can do the changes from the site and we can see the response the same way they have introduced. See? So defaultly they have provided one component. So you we have this console section and a terminal. So while working, uh, what are the areas we are seeing? All the things are they have included here. And this playground, the same way. And they have included a lot of reference. So what are the topics you are choosing? Based on that, we will get more information, okay? So this is all about the documentation. So then we can move on the exact features one by one. And the next one is new syntax for control flow in templates. Okay. So in Angular 17 introduced new declarative control flow syntax that makes writing and managing complex conditional code easier. The new control flow syntax is based on that syntax, which is similar to the syntax used in other programming like uh, JavaScript and Python. So even MVC views also, uh, we will use this at symbol, okay? So this is very simple. Uh, already we have a structural directives, right? ng if, ng for, ng switch. So instead of that, they have introduced these controls. We can directly use this at symbol. See, this is one of the example. If the user is logged in only, uh, we are showing some content domains. Previously, we supposed to use the ng if. Instead of that, we can use like this. And the same way we can use the else if and else also. So the same way for the for loop. So this is one of the for loop syntax. Make sure we have to include this at symbol. So after that we can write our own logic. In case uh, in our array or list don't have any values, we are supposed to show some default text. There is no record something. So in this case, uh, we have to use this at empty and then we can bind the value. So the same way applicable for the switch also. Okay, in this switch we have to use that symbol. Similarly in this case, 
so other than that all are same only okay we can move on to the next topic automatic migration to built-in control flow so if you want to migrate your code to the new control flow syntax automatically there is a schematic in this angular slash core package for adding this package we have to use this command angular slash core and control flow okay and one more important update like in this angular 15 itself we have seen this uh, standalone components from this angular 17 onwards they have added this standalone component as the default one for example if you are creating one a new application we have this app component okay so that is the model based one previously so here after they have makes that as the standalone component even if you are creating uh, one new component using this ng command it will generate it as the standalone component only okay and the next one is signal the signal also introduced from the angular 16 so now uh, we can use more convenient way in this angular 17 okay so we can move on to the next topic automatic removal of css so whenever we are removing or destroying the component the related css also destroyed automatically okay and the next one opt-in support for view transition api okay this is one of the interesting feature basically it is used for the animations we can move on to the next one defer views so defer view also introduced a new concept in angular 7 so if you have some content uh, after some times okay some of the logics executed then only uh, we have to load the particular content so then we can use the differ options okay so in this differ options we can write some condition based on that we can load our templates or a view and the next one is build performance with the es build so generally in this angular cla is used to generate the bundles using this webpack from this angular 17 onwards angular comes with a stable version of angular cla by default for new angular projects with the application builder okay so we can see this one in our angular.json so next what i'm going to do let me create one new application in angular 17 so first we can see the system requirement so as i mentioned uh, we need a node.js version 18.13 and above i am having the latest version only So once we have the Node.js, we have to upgrade our uh, Angular CLA. I already uh, upgraded my Angular CLA also. We can see this version is 18.0.1 and my Node version is 20.9. Okay. So next let me create the application. I choose the path. The comments are same only. So I just provided the name is Angular 17. So we can use the CSS. See, additionally it's asking, do you want to enable the server side rendering SSR and a static site generation? Okay, we can provide yes. So it will take some time. Once the application is created, we can review the file structure okay application created successfully let me open in the vs code see we have this app component and if you are checked in this ts file see defaultly it is the standalone component okay and additionally we have this uh, routes and this app config and other areas are almost the same so let me run this one see the default template hello angular sounding congratulations we have provided the link for everything so even if you are clicking the cla docs also it simply goes to this angular dev url only okay so next let me create one component so we can provide the name is home okay 
the component is created see it is a standalone component so in this previous version uh, if you want to make a component as the standalone uh, in this command itself we have to mention as the standalone so hereafter the default one is the this standalone component okay now we are in the end of the video so in my next video i am planning to upgrade angular 16 application into angular 17 so continuously we can so we can create the separate video for every features with some proper examples okay thank you thanks for watching